Some of the most uh, disappointing news uh, came out of California last night where um, uh, Steve Garvey uh, handily became the uh, second vote getter in the jungle primary. Um, it is um, it is uh, it's unfortunate um, because there was a, yeah. a vote split between uh, Porter and, and Lee. Now, it's quite, quite possible that even if um, uh, the uh, shift had not sort of elevated Garvey, that maybe he would have come in second anyways. I mean, there is there was simply a vote split because you have multiple Democrats who are running and um, that are viable. And, and really, there is no viability for the Republicans there. And so a guy who was, you know, the former uh, Dodgers uh, well, first baseman, right? Was that what he played uh, back in the day? Um, maybe he was a third baseman when he started. I can't remember. Yeah, he was first baseman. Probably. But um, nevertheless, um, Adam Schiff, I don't know that he'll be worse than Dianne Feinstein. Uh, so in that respect, um, uh, okay, it would have been nice to have um, a, a really progressive uh, uh, senator from California but that is, uh, you know, uh, where we're at. We'll talk a little more about Dave Weigel with that. But um, perhaps what was, you know, sort of like um, uh, most impressive was the relentlessness of, uh, of if not now, activists uh, confronting Adam Schiff on his support for the massacre that's happening in Gaza. This is uh, really important. The more pressure that... Uh, you know, the, they see in the White House on uh, other uh, Democrats in other uh, places, the more they will fill it, uh, feel it, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, and this uh, they dogged Adam Schiff yesterday and uh, good for them. Takes a lot of guts to do stuff like this. You're staying is sending your tax dollars to kill children in Gaza. How many more? You're not sending our tax dollars to Gaza. Free Palestine. Free Palestine. He's killing children with our tax dollars. Pay that money. Um, uh, that was earlier on, yeah, right? Yeah, what happened? Why did that, did, can you let it play out a little more? It's just 20 oh, seconds. Okay, uh, but I think we just went 16 seconds there, but that's okay. Uh, nevertheless, um... The uh, th this is uh, I'll tell you why I think this is uh, effective, as opposed to even like maybe, um, uh, you know, when you're in a big crowd like this, it is disturbing what they're trying to do in a way that is is different than like, uh, you know, pursuing them individually. Like when you go and you disrupt a uh, fundraiser or when you go and you disrupt a party. Uh, when you go and disrupt, uh, you know, as we've seen with Biden has canceled a lot of his college tours, they're feeling it. It is it is causing them. Uh, there is a political price uh, that is associated with this. And um, it's also just really brave. It's if not now, it's Jewish Voice for Peace and other groups, we should say, that are organizing this in California. Like the, the I saw you know, at the NBA All-Star game. There was a Let Gaza Live banner unfurled. The, people are going to get beers jumped on them people yeah. i mean jill biden was getting interrupted by uh someone uh, criticize jill biden criticizing uh, biden's policies in gaza um and y she must have been a, she was a young woman and you see these older people just grabbing at her yeah. and being kind of violent so it takes uh, bravery on a, a number of levels and here is so that was a campaign event earlier in the day and here is schiff with his um <clears throat> his um victory speech and um he didn't uh, get to finish it check it out one of the <laughs> i <laughs> i want to thank you all Someone came up and said to Adam Schiff, who was reading off a prompter, who was trying to stick to the prompter to wrap it up, he went and finished it up. These were people who came in about five or six to start with and said, ceasefire now, ceasefire now. Security ushered them out. And then another couple popped up, let Gaza live, let Gaza live. And then some more came in the middle. Security could not get them out, that they were scattered through the room here at the Avalon Theater and the nightclub. Go down there and pull down to the crowd for me, please. 
and you see that you know there's just a lot of arguing, a lot of disagreement. Again, they were they were chanting, "Free Gaza now, let Gaza live, cease fire now, let Gaza live," and the protesters remain here in the center of the store. So what was supposed to be a victory celebration and a scripted speech that Adam Schiff was reading off prompter, one no doubt he had carefully crafted a long time ago, was cut dramatically short, and he was now taken off the stage. Woo, great stuff. Also, this has been a hallmark of these demonstrations, too, how they stagger their disruptions. It's so effective because, like... They can't get you all out at once, and they don't know when one member of the crowd is going to start chanting. This, this has been done, I think, at one Biden speech. Is the one in Virginia? The Biden speech at the one in Virginia is the one that I think precipitated his staff stopping doing, their best doing to not allow that type of disruption to happen again at any event. Yes, and also it happened in Tony, one of Tony Blinken's um House committee hearings. Right, the, was the a lot of the. Uh, the Virginia speech, Biden was interrupted 17 times. Yeah, it was like yeah. <laughs> constant. <laughs> yep. So good job, guys. Uh, yeah, really important. I mean, that that is the um, there's no way that the White House isn't aware of this and mm-hmm. realizes that this is going to be a problem. Uh, you see uh, press reports that they're creeping ever so slightly to, um, you know, uh, pressuring Israel. They supposedly, uh, Gantz, uh, Benny Gantz was in town and supposedly they gave him an earful, um, all of which is, you know, irrelevant uh, until they actually start to put some muscle behind this. Uh, But we had uh, uh, Ken Klippenstein uh, um, uh, reporting on a leaked Diplomatic cable. I mentioned that that um, was basically coming from the uh, um, the American embassy in Israel, saying, and and these are not people who are not sympathetic to Israel. I can tell you, right. in the uh, diplomatic corps, they're basically saying like this: this is you, 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 if they go into Rafa, it is going to be uh, a a just a an unmitigated, un in many respects incomprehensible disaster. You have literally hundreds of thousands of people hundreds of hundreds of thousands of people living in tents there um just horrible but um so uh, good for those folks uh who were out there uh protesting in what was really probably the most high profile uh speech of the night yeah and um i mean outside of maybe i don't know if uh, trump gave one or not and but, he's going to be the senator from california shift like that was why he spent I think over half of his money that he spent on advertisements advertising for Garvey. So this is like the moment to say, (laughs) we are your constituents too, buddy. And this is the future here in California.